First up is Swami Brahmavira Das, a sadhu initiated by H. H. Pramukh Swami Maharaj, who leads international relations for the Bab Swaminarayan Sansa, a socio-spiritual voluntary Hindu organization. He's known across the world as a philanthropist, a motivational speaker. He's also a thought leader and part of a creative team for numerous projects for international repute, such as the Swaminarayan Akshadam Nizdan Mandir, the Mystic India large film format film, and at present, the BAPS Hindu Mandir UAE. Recently, he was called upon by the Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Bhai Modi to deploy BAPS volunteers to set up camp for safe exit of Indian nationals and students from Ukraine. Today, we have the privilege of hearing his inspiring, inspiring, inspiring message on how leaders create leaders. Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnat Purnamudachyate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishyate Om Shanti 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 In the divine presence of Bhagwan Swami Narayan and all the divine incarnations who have blessed our nation in the equally divine presence of Guru Hari Pramukh Swami Maharaj Mahan Swami Maharaj and all the great sadhus who have continued to guide us and also in the most esteemed presence of the leaders, the members and the dignitaries present today of this amazing organization, Ahoa. I would like to reach out to you as a friend, not as a teacher and not as a preacher. Because very often Pramukh Swami had told me that friendship unlocks the doors of the heart. And I believe that when we can understand each other truly, when we can share and care for one another freely, that is what friendship does. And I also believe that all of you have gathered here today, thousands in person and thousands more online in the spirit of friendship to further the vision and work of this amazing international organization but at the same time also to choose our leaders we must know and accept the fact the leaders are not those who create followers nor leaders are those who control workers but leaders are those who create leaders. Leaders are those who empower each one of us. There is no longer a single member, but when each one of us become leader and we participate to the well-being of this entire association, then leadership is evaluated. More importantly, you may ask me, Swami, how can leaders create leaders? Well, let me remind you of the 34th President of America and the Supreme Commander of the Allied Forces in World War II, Dwight Eisenhower. He often described leadership with a simple string. He would put it on a table and say that if you push a string, it goes nowhere. But if you pull a string, it will go wherever you wish it to go. He said that people should not be pulled, they should be pulled. That's how leadership should be defined. But unfortunately, I believe that leadership is not about pulling or pushing. Perhaps he did not know the Indian rope trick. Each one of us has seen that image of the Indian man playing the music and the rope rises on its own. So it's not about pushing or pulling a rope. It's about uplifting a rope. 
when you create the right music, the right environment, the right atmosphere, people are uplifted and leaders inspire other people in becoming leaders. And when you are inspired, when you rise beyond the differences that divide us, then you create a special elevation in the entire organization. I ask each one of you that, of course, it's not just the leaders who can help the organization rise. Everybody can lead themselves and their organizations and their area to help the entire organization rise. Leadership is about uplifting. Beautifully defined by the former president, Bill Clinton, when he had come to India and he had met Prabhup Swami and he explained one very beautiful thing. He said that most people in this world, they think that they can rise by pulling people down. But when I look at your life, I've come to understand that leaders can rise by helping everyone else rise. Can we help others grow? Can we help others rise? That's how leadership should be defined. For our favorite president, Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam, he redefined leadership. It was not just about rising and helping people grow. He said, it's about connecting. It's not just about connecting with people. It's about connecting minds and connecting hearts. When you connect minds and when you connect hearts, you just turn this entire organization into a different league. Let me explain that who doesn't know that AOHA is one of the most powerful and the largest such organization in the world. All of you have created it. And I'm not here to say that we are not united. Of course you are. Of course each one values each other's role. But can we have a little higher, a little deeper, greater connection of minds and hearts? When we do that, we will create a change that you and I can never imagine. Pramukh Swami Maharaj often quoted the words of Gunaditan and Swami. He said that when there are just two of you, but if you are united and you live as one, then you are as powerful and strong as a million. But even if there are a million of us, but if we are disunited in mind and heart, then we are as weak as just one of us. The power of unity together has the power to change the landscape and the mindset of humanity. To what extent, you may wonder, imagine that human beings we, as individuals are weak. We are not the strongest. A bull is far stronger. We are not the fastest. A cheetah is much faster. We are not the most fearless. A lion is far more fearless. So as a single individual, we human beings are not the fastest, the strongest, and the most fearless. But yet again, as a collective human race, the consciousness that we've created, we actually rule our planet. Uniting ourselves in a different level will bring the change that we want. And I also want to tell you that you may ask that how can this happen? Each one of you is successful. Each one of you owns many, many hotels. Each one of you is a leader. So how can we unite in a different level? Well, there are three things that are very important, which I would like to leave you with. One is trust. Second is transparency. And third is togetherness. Perhaps this small example, which I'll leave you at the conclusion of the speech, will probably give us the guidelines. It's a legend from the times of the Roman Emperor and the Empire. It may not be true, it may be imaginary, but the message is very true and very real. Roman Empire was just a republic before Pompey came. Pompey, he won North Africa, he won, he won the ends of Europe. And when he returns back to Rome with a huge welcome, 
The entire room is on the streets. People are on the balcony, in the veranda. The senators are on the steps. And when this is happening, Pompey is needling himself through the crowd, enjoying the glory that he has gained. During that time, a youth finds his way to the hand of Pompey. The youth nudges the elbow of Pompey and whispers, that how can I be like you? Imagine your moment of glory. If somebody comes to you and says, how can I be like you? Even in that, Pompey turns to that youth and says, first, speak your heart. Be transparent. The second he says, win the people. Don't be self-centric. Be, be people-centric, selfless. And the third he says, keep the promises you give. Trustworthiness. And for your information, that youth was Julius Caesar. I'm not here to evaluate somebody's empire or emperor. But I'm also here to tell each one of us, wherever you are, whatever you are doing, if you win the people, if you speak your heart, and if you keep the promises you give, you will become an emperor wherever you are, whether it's in your home, in your neighborhood, whether it's in your workplace or business, whether it's in the organization, whether you're a leader or just a member, when we do this, we rise beyond a certain level. In summary, I would like to also say and reach out to you that the last two years have been difficult in pandemic. Perhaps no other industry has suffered so much as all of you. When people stayed at home, our hotel stayed empty. And I know that many of you must have faced financial crisis or lost loved ones. Many of you have faced uncertainties and difficulties of unprecedented proportions. But I also know all of you are here again, regrouped, wanting to regenerate. And all of you are here as one. I want to say when all of you are one, when everyone has one. It's not about winning or losing today. It's about making everyone win. And I believe that an organization of your repute, of your level, has the ability to change the face of not just your industry, not just of our nation, but of the lives of our future generations. My prayers that may you remain healthy, may you remain happy, May you be able to face greater and greater challenges together and may you gain so much peace with special prayers for peace in Eastern Europe and all your homes and your hearts. I remain as a long trusting friend and lots of love. Today is not a day of winning or losing. Today is a time of helping everyone win. Thank you very much. Lots of love for everybody. And once again, thank you for having me with you. Jai Swami Narayan.